Gardeners, Amy here with Garden Up, and today on this edition of Tool Tuesday, I'm going to talk about the wire rake. I've already mentioned this in my former video about how it's constructed, how this particular rake has a bend right here, which is super nice for raking up pine needles and leaves because it's very springy um, and it, it just bounces everything right up out of the lawn, so that's great. And it's got this reinforcing spring right here to keep it strong. Um, the whole contraption, the head and the handle, are held together usually by a single screw right here. Um, so bear in mind if this screw falls out, your rake head might fall off of the handle. It's easily fixed though, just get a new screw, put it back in. But for the most part, these tools are zero maintenance. Um, just try to keep the tines from bending up too bad. So, how to use a rake. Obviously, most of us have figured this out by the time we're about six or seven years old, right? So just put it out and pull it back. Um, some tips for keeping your energy all day long, because you will get tired after a few hours of this, right? Get into a rhythm and let, let the rake do as much of the work as possible. So try to save your muscles. Don't push down on it or try to pull more than your rake can handle or anything like that, that's a good way to make you really tired really fast. So, but you just go out, go back, back and forth across the whole yard. And then when you're going to change directions and go the other way, switch to, so I would normally turn around, but instead of turning my back to the camera, <laughs> Over here, but you use the opposite arm. That way, you don't get one set of muscles super tired. Okay, so the other thing I want to show you is how to do what's called a garbage line. Okay, but that, obviously, we're not picking up garbage. What we're going to do is use the same concept to have multiple people rake up a whole yard in just a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to all stand next to each other and rake back and forth, side by side. One thing about raking up pine needles in grass is often some of them will stay, okay? So you have to go over it in a couple different directions in order to get all the pine needles out. It's not usually the case with leaves, thankfully, but just a little trick with needles. We're also going to show you how to load up a tarp quick and easy with just a rake and yourself. And the tarp, of course. Okay, so hold the tarp tight, right up next to the pile. And then you, you can either stand on it this way and pull it tight like a dustpan and rake under yourself, but if you have more than one person, you stand over there. Gonna help us with her rake. I'm queen of the mountain. <laughs> Breaks. You can also carry stuff this way, but do not squeeze the handles too much. I've seen a lot of rakes break doing this. But you can carry quite a bit just this way. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please let me know by leaving the thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions about it or you want to make a suggestion for future gardening videos that you'd like to see, leave a comment down below and let me know. So I want to thank my employees for helping me film this video. On that note, have a great day and I will see you in the garden. <laughs>